Hi everybody, I'm at the grocery store because I'm gonna be making this beautiful salad today. Okay, so for a raspberry chicken salad, you need raspberries and I'm getting two because some of it goes into the dressing and some of it goes on top. This is totally a salad my kids would eat because there's raspberries in it. It's a great way to trick your kids into eating salad. And I don't mean trick like you're trying to pull one over on them. I just mean you try to get them introduced into things that they don't normally like by putting in things that they like, like raspberries. Goat cheese for the top of the salad. I'm all done. Everything's in my basket for this recipe, so I get to check out. All right, so I'm headed back to the office after going to the store, and I wanna let you guys know what my plans are for this little salad. I'm going to lower the carbohydrates just a little bit in this salad, and I'm also going to lower the calories by um, not marinating the chicken. And I suggest grilling because you get a fabulous flavor in your chicken. That is my PSA for today, and I am so excited to get back to the office. All right, it's time to get started. I'm going to start by making my dressing. I've got a third cup of fresh organic raspberries going into my Nutribullet. And then I'm going to put in a quarter cup of water, two tablespoons of Greek yogurt and vinegar. Key ingredient here is a little bit of the strawberries and cream protein powder. Have you ever had protein powder in your salad dressing before? It's a nice way to add a little protein boost and also some flavor. And into the blender we go. All right, so this is going to go into the refrigerator and it's going to get nice and chilled up until we're ready to build our salad. All right, so it's time to take this little bar and transform it into a coating for our pecans. A little bit of zero calorie sweetener, one teaspoon to be exact, one quarter cup of unsweetened almond milk. If you guys are not breaking up your bars and melting them or transforming them, you really should give it a try because it's a lot of fun. And then we're going to coat everything together and put it all in the oven to bake. And the oven is going to be set to 400 degrees. All right, so these just came out of the oven. I'm going to toss them and throw them in for two extra minutes. So it's seven minutes total actually. Okay, you guys, it is time to finally build this salad. Our nuts, our chicken, our raspberries, and our goat cheese. We came up with a wonderful little appetizer bite. Look at how good that looks. And that is probably gonna end up in our cookbook. So, click on this to subscribe. Go on, go on, just click on it. And uh, make sure you guys leave me some comments. Bye.